What is going on, multiversers? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday, so you know what that means. It's time for the next multiverses, yay or nay series. A little episode thing with the new character, and that one would be just like we said last week Neo from The Matrix. So, uh, yeah, you guys know how this goes. We're going to run through some possible ideas for movesets, some ideas for some taunts, some ideas for alternate costumes, and then down in the comments, you guys play along. Yay, you would type if you want to see Neo as a playable character in multiverses, or nay, you don't want to see him playable. So let's get into the first possible move. And this one, uh, I mean, you kind of understand it, but it's like a projectile slowdown, one of his abilities, right? So up first... Neo has this ability to ultimately stop, like, any projectile. So in the movie, you know, he kind of, like, as, uh, what was that, Agent Smith is shooting at him, he kind of, like, slows down the bull incoming bullets, and then he just got like, they just stop. So the way I imagine this working is as long as you press and hold down, like, maybe the neutral special button, Neo will kind of hold his hand out, signaling, like, a slowdown of projectiles that are incoming towards him. This way, if there's an opponent that's trying to like spam projectiles, you kind of have like a safe way of stopping them, you know, so it kind of punishes the opponent, right? But uh, once, obviously, that's if you press and hold down the corresponding button to wherever this attack may land in his moveset pool, but just a fun way to kind of mess with opponents. It's not gonna deal any damage, but uh, maybe that could be a unique perk, possibly, where he holds his hand out and then once the it's kind of like the Black Adam thing, I guess, in a way. But if the uh, the projectile is coming at you and once it makes contact with Neo, then it could kind of be reflected. That could be a part of a unique perk, I think would make for a lot of sense. But uh, I don't know. Just uh, just an idea. Just an idea. Now for move number two. Uh, this one's going to sound a bit strange. So, uh, yeah, l let me explain. I'm going to call this one like the shoot and dash and grab. You'll see what I mean. So the attack is going to have Neo fire a round from his weapon. But then as soon as he fires, he's going to dash forwards at a pretty high speed, grabbing his opponent. All while the projectile that he shot will move through the air somewhat slowly. Not too fast because uh, the projectile can't outspeed Neo doing this uh, dash animation, right? So the dash and grab part will allow enough time for the projectile to kind of hit the opponent, causing more damage. So let me try to put that simply if I can. He fires a shot, he dashes forward, grabs the opponent if they are in range of it, and then holds them in place while the projectile will make a successful impact. So it's not like the projectile is moving at like one inch an hour, you know? it's It'll have decent speed to it, but it'll be slower than Neo kind of dashing forward. So not only does this attack, you know, kind of, it's like a two-part attack, but it's also got a little bit of versatility to it because he's got the dash forwards part as well. So it kind of helps with offstage recovery, if you will. Or say you even want to try to go off stage and your opponent's kind of like hanging out out over the stage somewhere, use this attack, fire the projectile, go grab them in mid-air, the projectile makes contact with them, and then it sends them flying off stage for a KO. This could be a really fun tool to mess around with your opponents, but uh, I don't know. The shoot and dash and grab, I don't have a good name for it, but that's kind of what it is. Move number three, we're going to go with the good old thrust kick, or the side kick, the side thrust kick. Yeah, it's a thrust kick, so that's what we'll call it. So, that's what's next, right? Neo will basically kind of strike this pose while doing a kick outwards. Uh, this could be charged, like a charged neutral attack. This could kind of work. So on startup, the move I would imagine should give him some sort of super armor to just protect him from being able to, uh, so he doesn't get knocked out of the move animation. So there should be some, I think, super armor for the attack. But yeah, just kind of like, thrusts his kick just uh, sideways, right? It'd be a pretty fun kick, uh, pretty fun move. It would be, a, I think it could be a pretty decent uh, KO potential attack as well, something you could rely on for that. So once your opponent starts to get high enough in damage, you can pull this one out, charge it up, obviously, and boom, send the opponent flying off stage and maybe pick up a nice little KO with it as well. Plus, I mean, come on, Neo, <laughs> he knows Kung Fu. Now on to the alternate costume portion, so 
couple couple ideas. Let me know if you got anything different down in the comments. But up first, we're gonna go with his kung fu look. We well, said you know he, he knows kung fu, so why not get him in that uh, little that little get up his uh, his kung fu attire? I mean, come on, that, that, that would work. I think his basic one, you know, his default one is probably in the, in the all black get up. He's got the black trench coat on. Th that's probably the default one, I would imagine. So kung fu would make for a pretty decent, I'd say, a pretty decent uh, alternate costume. But another idea that I had would be this one would be kind of fun. This would be maybe a little bit more of the tryhards uh, would like this one. Neo blindfolded. Come on, come on. Imagine beating somebody with your character blindfolded and then all you can do is, dude, I just beat you with a character and he couldn't even see, uh, you know? I, I don't know. I think I think people could have fun with that one. That one should definitely be like an uncommon. That one should not cost a lot. It's literally just a blindfold. That's it. There, there's nothing special about the look besides the blindfold, but you still get it. I still think it would be a pretty fun one to include nonetheless. So there you go. Now let's talk about a couple taunt slash winning animation. In this case, I think both of them should be taunts. So up first, I didn't know where to include this in a possible attack for his move set. So if I couldn't do that, we at least had to get the matrix dodge, you know, the slow mo dodge. Just imagine doing that as a taunt, but it actually could also work on the battlefield as a dodge in itself. I mean, this would be a fun thing to do. This would be a fun. I think a lot of people would would buy this one just for the memes itself. Like, could, could you imagine? So, so, I don't know. Shaggy throwing his sandwich. Bugs launching his Acme rocket sideways, and then you pull out this taunt, which can act as a dodge as well. That would be incredible. That would be incredible. You imagine just the the Matrix dodge montages on YouTube. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be great. But uh, one more that I thought here's a very simple one bring it you know just kind of reaches his hand out and goes <laughs> come on man bring it let's see what you got so just a couple ideas i figured they that they, they work as taunts i don't think i don't think they make too much sense as winning animation so yeah taunts are perfect for those two now for the yay or nay portion of the video pretty simple i think neo would be very very fun so i'm gonna give him a yay myself although he's ki kind of a, a low yay i suppose still be fun it'd still be fun so he gets a yay regardless let me know what you guys got for neo down in the comments and uh that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this week but uh note about next week next sunday is christmas i do not ever upload well i don't want to upload on christmas anymore so and typically i don't haven't been uploading on saturdays yesterday was just kind of random but i don't usually upload saturday so next saturday is gonna take place of sunday for Christmas. So I'm basically swapping the two days around. So the next yay or nay updated stat portion will be next Saturday, not Sunday, just in case anybody's wondering. But that is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I guess I'll see you when I'm looking at you.